Hi, my name is Cecile and welcome back to another episode of Gear Up with Greg's. Today we're going to be clamping down on the facts about Behringer pipe clamps. Behringer started out as a humble metal working facility and has since evolved into a major manufacturer and supplier of industrial markets. Actually, the original Behringer, the creator of the company, holds patents that he shares with Thomas Edison. The Behringer clamps can be used in several different applications from low pressure lubrication and water systems to high pressure hydraulic and process systems. But wait! What exactly makes these clamps so special and why are they so widely used? Let's start by thinking about where a pipe clamp might be used. There's the obvious answer, pipes. But they're also used for tubes, hoses, electrical wires and plumbing. You can find clamps on anything that has a hydraulic system, such as mobile equipment in agriculture, mining or construction vehicles, industrial manufacturing systems, and offshore platforms. That's a lot of clamps. Behringer clamps are mainly used in the hydraulic industry and for good reason. The ribs on the inside of the clamp and the unique design provide a dampening effect, which means that the shock and vibration in regular hydraulic processes are absorbed and reduced. That means a quieter and safer work environment for everyone. Pipe and hose clamps are used to keep your system stable and out of the way, which decreases the risk of damage to the assembly or the people around it. Securing hoses is one of the most common applications for the Behringer clamps, especially in the hydraulic industry. With all the vibration and flexibility of a hydraulic system, you want to be sure you've got a clamp that can handle it all. If we take a look at the parts of the clamp, we can see exactly what makes them so unique and popular in the hydraulic market. When they're spaced apart slightly, they form a perfect circle. This is your OD, or outside diameter. As you tighten the clamp, they create an oval shape, which means you're also creating a three-dimensional clamping force on your pipe. Plus, the inside of the clamp has ribs, like I mentioned earlier, which help to anchor the pipe or hose while reducing the amount of vibration and noise. Here at Greg's, we carry the polypropylene clamps, which have a continuous operating temperature of up to 90 degrees Celsius. That means that even if your clamps are installed in an environment that is constantly at 90 degrees Celsius, they can handle the heat. Polypropylene is a versatile plastic that can be found in the utensils in your kitchen, the athletic apparel at the back of your closet, your family room area rug, and even your car batteries. Some of the benefits of polypropylene include a high melting point, resistance to cracking and stress, and durability. Polypropylene's characteristics make it ideal for tough, robust products just like the Behringer clamps. These clamps come in three varieties, or series, the standard series, the twin series, and the heavy series. The standard series ranges in sizes from 1 quarter inch to 3.5 inch OD and can withstand any system operating up to 2,000 psi or pounds per square inch. They can be mounted with a weld plate, a bolt plate, into a rail, onto a strut channel, stacked on top of each other and group welded. The Twin Series ranges in sizes from 1 quarter inch to 1.66 inch OD and can support pressure up to 1500 PSI. It has a single bolt that holds the whole assembly in place. This series allows two lines to be mounted right next to each other. The Heavy Series is similar to the Standard Series but can hold up in a tougher environment. They range in size from 1 quarter through to 6.63 inch OD. The heavy series can handle pressure up to 5,000 psi and is typically welded in place. 
As for hardware, that is the bolts and plates, the standard and twin series use zinc plated steel, but the heavy series uses carbon untreated steel for that extra durability. You can mount these clamps on a weld plate, on a rail, on a strut, or stacked on top of one another, which makes them unique compared to other clamps on the market. All three series use the same type of tough polypropylene material, just with different shapes. Whether you're looking to order a full clamp assembly or just a new base plate, don't worry, we've got you covered. The typical assembly of a pipe clamp includes a weld plate for mounting the clamp, a clamp pair, a cover plate, and hex bolts. To choose a pipe clamp, there are four things you need to keep in mind. Series, size, hardware, and mounting configuration. To determine the series of clamp to be used, the most important factors to keep in mind are the operating pressures of the line to be secured, the weight being supported, and the amount of impact the clamp may have with equipment or materials such as stones and metal. This kind of impact might occur when a clamp is mounted externally to a piece of equipment or machinery that may be periodically exposed to impact risks. Other considerations include size, environment and application. For example, a 1-inch pipe for a hydraulic system operating at 2,000 PSI would typically require the use of the standard series. But if the clamp needs to support the weight of a large filter or other system component, the heavy series may be used instead. The heavy series may also be selected if the system is operating in a mining or mobile equipment environment, where the clamp and hardware will see high amounts of impact and vibration. Next, you need to decide what size of clamp you'll need. This is determined by the OD of the line to be secured. Behringer clamps are listed with both pipe and tube sizes. But what's the difference? Well, pipe is measured by the inside diameter and will have a larger outside diameter, or OD, because of the wall thickness. For example, a one inch pipe has an OD of 1.315. Tubing, on the other hand, is measured by the outside diameter. So a one inch tube will have a one inch OD. Knowing the outside diameter of your pipe or tubing is important in helping you find the exact size of your clamp you need for the job. Once you've determined the clamp size and series, the next step is to determine what hardware materials you will need. Each series has a standard hardware type, zinc plated carbon for the standard and twin series, and plain carbon steel for the heavy series. Last, you're going to need to determine your mounting configuration. Is the clamp being welded in place or attached to a rail? Will there only be one clamp, several next to each other on a group weld mount, or stacked on top of one another? Luckily, Behringer has a solution no matter your required mounting setup. There's the standard weld plate, a longer weld strip for multiple clamps, stacking bolts, and mounting rails and rail nuts. Installation is easy, but let me walk you through the process. After determining your series size, hardware and mounting configuration, you're ready to start the installation process. First, weld or bolt your mounting plate to the surface you want to clamp on. Next, Take your clamp pair, the two halves of black polypropylene, and set the bottom half on your mounting plate. Put your pipe or tubing in place and add the second half of the clamp pair. Then, add your cover plate and hex bolts, tightening the bolts to get the proper grip on your clamp. To stack multiple clamps together, you can use stacking bolts and a safety plate between each layer. Instead of the cover plate, add a safety plate and the mounting bolts on top of your first clamp.
This will give you a mounting plate for your second clamp to go on top of. Then, complete the clamp assembly as you would any other with a cover plate and hex bolts. Now, let's say you wanted to mount the clamps on this rail. The process might seem complicated, but Behringer's made it easy. The weld plates slide right into these rails, making assembly easy. But what if you want to add a clamp to the middle of the rail without removing the clamps that are already there? No problem. Just take two of these rail nuts, which can be fitted into the rail and turn to lock in place. Then add your clamp halves, cover plate and hex bolts, and you're done. Whew, that was a cinch. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to call us or you can visit our website at greatdistributors.ca. Again, I'm Cecile and I want to thank you for watching another episode of Gear Up With Graves.